Okay, so um, by referring from the figure 9.1 above, what is the value of A representing for? Okay, what is A? So this is a kinetic energy, maximum kinetic energy with frequency graph. Still remember what is this? Uh, uh, if you remember this uh, F5, uh, five, this 5 value of 5 intercept at X, axis it is uh, F0. Uh, and this one, uh, A actually is a negative W0. Uh, negative W0. So uh, remember this, the, the part we learned about this one, about the what K max against frequency graph. Okay. Uh, K, this is a uh, K max versus uh, remember here there is a uh, uh, this is important uh, don't forget about this you must add this uh, it's not just 5 it is a uh, 5 exponent 14 this work function also has exponent negative 19 uh, many students forget about this forget to add this to their answer uh, then they got wrong answer yeah uh, okay so about this uh, K max versus frequency graph is this one lah uh, you will learn about this. You see, K max versus frequency graph. Uh, it, uh, this is the intercept at x is uh, f naught and intercept at y is uh, negative w naught. Uh, okay, we got it correct. Uh, so it's Im important to identify what is the x intercept and y, y intercept. Yeah. Uh, so uh, how to get that? Uh, it's all for derivation from the basic formula e equal to k max plus work function. Uh, from there, we rearrange get the y equal to mx plus c equation uh, then from there we can know which one is y which one is x which one is the gradient and then uh, we substitute yeah, uh, f equal to zero what is k max and then we substitute k max equal to zero what is f uh, yeah that's how we do it so now uh, okay so what is the value of a representing for you can just say uh, it is the uh, a is actually uh, negative w naught uh, negative w naught uh, okay or you can uh, yeah that's that's right that's a, that's a way lah okay uh, maybe you want to write in words also can negative uh, work negative work function okay uh, negative work function now state the equation of the graph and state each symbol okay so equation of this graph is actually um, equal to k max plus work function so how to make it into uh, the y is uh, k max how to make it y equal to k max and how to make the x is the f so uh, rearrange the formula so k max put in the front okay so let me show you uh, already in the notes but uh, i just show you here so k max at the front so the w naught just go to the other side yeah go to the other side and so become e minus work function okay e minus work function and then we know that energy is the energy of incident photon which is equal to hf uh, energy of the incident photon so k max is equal to hf minus work function ah uh, so uh, from there we can compare with the uh, we can compare already um, y equal to mx okay mx plus c uh, so from there we can know um, okay uh, so the y axis is the k the y axis is the k the x axis is the f is it correct yeah the y is the k x is the f yes that's correct and then the gradient the gradient is h the c is the uh, the uh, this is the y intercept you see the C is uh, negative or uh, the C, yeah? The C is negative W naught, uh, which is uh, this one, which is this one. Uh, this is the C actually, yeah? This is the C, yeah? The A is the, the A is the C, the A is the C, uh, yeah? The Y intercept, uh, okay? So, um, uh, this one lah. Uh, so, uh, okay, this is the work function. Okay, negative w naught. Okay. Ah, so state, uh, state, define each symbol. You define lah, yeah. Uh, you can define uh, k max. Uh, what is, uh, what is k max? Yeah. Maybe I uh, can say what is k max again. K max is the um, what is the maximum kinetic energy of ejected electron? Uh, just say lah. Okay. Uh, k max is the uh, maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectrons ejected uh, photoelect 
electrons. And then what is uh, E? What is E? What is HF? Okay, this is the uh, energy of the photon, or just say photon energy. Okay, and then what else? What else we have? We have the work function, isn't it? Uh, w not W not is uh, work function. Uh, w not is the work function. Okay, so state uh, uh state it define each symbol. So I define for you already lah. Okay, now um. By using the information given in the graph, determine the value of the work function and threshold wavelength. So, what is the work function value of this work function? Okay, so value of this work function, how to get it? Uh, we can uh, work function, we cannot know it from here, but uh, we from the x axis, we know the x intercept is the threshold frequency, isn't it? Uh, this is the threshold frequency f0, we know the f0. So, what is f0? Uh, f not f not is equal to five. Is it only five? Is it only five? Ah, remember this one. You must check the in uh, the axis got exponent or not. Ah, uh, so many students uh, just put five, which is wrong. You don't check the axis uh, that got exponent there hidden. Ah, uh, yeah, just to trap you. Huh? so this uh. This is threshold frequency got exponent 14. So now uh, let's get the work function. Let's get the work function. Uh, this h is 6.63 exponent negative 34. You can get this value from your list of constant. Uh, and then this is 5 exponent 14. Okay, so what's the answer after you calculate? Okay, so the answer you get uh, after this one multiply by that. Huh? Okay, remember the about the exponent here. Yeah, don't forget. If you don't put the exponent there, surely you get wrong answer. So the answer is after multiply, I got the answer is um, three point three one five, three point three one five exponent negative nineteen joule. Ah, so that's the answer. That's the work function. Ah, uh, so uh, okay. Uh, 3.315 exponent negative 19 joule. Okay, so uh, so uh, if you want to write in this graph, okay, if you want to write in this graph, the A will be uh, the A will be um, uh, so you can uh, just write if you want to write in this graph because the exponent is at the top. Exponent, you see, you see this one, the exponent negative 19 is at the top here. Uh, so this a value will be uh, 3.315. Ah, so that will be 3.315. Okay, exponent negative 19. The exponent just right at the top. Here you just write 3.315. Okay, 3.315. Okay, that's the word function. Oh, no, no, you got the negative sign. Ah, don't forget, this one is a negative word function. So you should put you should put a negative sign. Uh, negative, it should be negative 3.315. Uh, exponent negative 19 at the axis. Uh, here, just write the, the 3 .3, negative 3.315. Okay, so now, um, now find the threshold wavelength. Threshold wavelength is, uh, we can get, uh, either we can get from the, uh, we, because we have the threshold frequency, really, so we can just uh, you find the threshold wavelength from this formula because we know that uh, c equal to f lambda, c equal to f lambda. This actually comes from uh, v equal to f lambda, v equal to f lambda because the speed of light is the speed of light is using the special symbol c, three exponent eight. Uh, yeah, so c equal to f lambda. Uh, lambda is c over f. So similarly, if we use uh, f naught, then they will become lambda naught also. Uh, if this one we use f not this one will become lambda not uh, so we can find the lambda not from the f not okay uh, so f not go below so c over f not uh, is lambda not okay threshold wavelength is actually the speed of light divided by threshold frequency so okay let's find out the threshold wavelength okay threshold wavelength is equal to um, uh, this is the threshold wavelength uh, so it is a uh, 3 exponent 8 3 exponent 8, what's the threshold, threshold frequency? Uh, threshold frequency just now, this one, yeah? Uh, 5 exponent 14, you see? If you, if you didn't see, if you, 
miss uh, you didn't see about the exponent you got all wrong answer yeah you get the work function wrong you get the threshold wavelength also wrong answer so very very dangerous if you are careless uh, i can say this kind of person is careless okay uh, careless at the wrong place yeah now uh, fact exponent 14 so what is the uh, threshold wavelength uh, threshold wavelength it is um, uh, threshold wavelength uh, i got um yeah it is six it is a six exponent uh negative seven meter that's it uh six six ex six exponent negative seven negative seven meter uh okay that's the threshold wavelength understand okay that's all for this uh this uh this question okay see you again bye bye